Welcome back to Houston Live. This week, we'll be celebrating the class of 2023 and shining a spotlight on several graduating students from the greater Houston area who are already leaving a mark with their tenacity and talents. Today, we're highlighting an Angleton High School senior whose musical talents helped her reach an incredible milestone. She has already performed at one of the most prestigious venues in the world, New York's Carnegie Hall. And here to weigh in on this outstanding experience is Olivia Smith. Olivia, welcome to the show and congratulations on everything you've accomplished so far. Thank you. So far, how is it watching that video and knowing that you're probably in one of the needle in a haystack <laughs> amount of students that, to get to do that at your age? It's pretty insane. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's kind of bragging rights just to be like, yeah, I performed in Carnegie Hall. That's yeah. really, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how that all happened. So what did you perform and how did you find out the right. news? So I actually performed in a choir. So there's about a hundred of us. There was 10,000 applicants from all over the world and they selected 500 musicians to perform. And in my choir, there was about a hundred and there was a guest conductor that they had come in and we sang about seven choral pieces and it was super duper cool. I'm sorry, you said out of about 10,000 people <laughs> across the world? About 10,000, yes. That's amazing. So you, you did this while you were obviously still studying at school. How do you find the balance when somebody says, how do you really truly find the balance to study and time to sing? So luckily for me, my senior year has been pretty relaxed. I have a lot of choir classes where I'm in there all the time and so it's just it's all music and so I just have to prioritize different things at different times but when it comes to studying I just I just work hard you know just try your best something tells me Olivia your idea of relaxed is like Very other different. people's <laughs> idea of a nightmare uh, because you graduated in the top 10 of I your did. class which yes. is an incredible accomplishment congratulations Thank on you. that circling back to Carnegie Hall though so that stage uh, is one of the most iconic stages in the world it's immediately recognizable the ceiling the acoustics the seating there some of the greatest stars in the world right, yeah. have performed on the stage can you describe to us what you were feeling when you stepped out onto that stage and also what the acoustics are like. Right, so I was shaking. Obviously, <laughs> it was very, very scary. But the acoustics were unlike everything, anything that I've ever heard. I've performed in multiple different venues before, but the sound just like bounced off the wall and came right back so you could hear yourself and it echoed throughout. It was really, really cool. And you got to see different like pictures that they had of people that had performed there before and like famous composers, like their original sheet music. So it was really, really cool. Wow. That's really nice. Well, what's up next for you? Um, so this fall, I plan on heading to Stephen F. Austin State University, and I'm going to major in music education to become a choir director. Oh, that is fantastic. And also, I mean, kudos to your choir director at school because it sounds like they had quite an impression on you. Of course. I just, they've impacted me so much. I hope to have the same impact on other students one day that they've had on me, for sure. That Aww. is beautiful. And your mom, who's an elementary school teacher, is in studio uh, today as well. I know she's mm -hmm. played a huge role of support in your life. Well, Olivia Smith, congratulations Congrats. on everything. Thank you so much.